At the transcatheter cardiovascular therapeutics meeting in San Francisco, Dr. Cindy Grines commented for us on the optimized study. Well, there are a lot of concern and a lot of uh, different opinions about the use of antiplatelet agents after replacement of a drug eluting stent. Some of the trials looked at stopping it at three months, some of them looked at stopping it at one year, and some looked at continuing it long term. But the bottom line from all these trials is it does appear with the second and third generation drug eluting stents, they're safer. They have lower risk of stent thrombosis, allowing us to stop early. And so if in a very low risk patient, we might choose to stop at three months, but in the average patient, probably it's safe to stop at one year. What do you normally do now? A year or it depends by patient? My current practice is to follow the guidelines, which is to give one full year in all patients. So this will be a big switch in practice. Now I have to say though that these trials aren't huge. There's a very large dual antiplatelet therapy trial, about 20,000 patients that's ongoing. And I'm going to wait for the results of that before I change my um, decision in all patients. That was one of the critiques at the discussion session in the plenary was the trial's really too small, it's not powered large enough to affect clinical practice. Would you say that's true? Well, I, s I think that's true, but there's a lot of signals out there. A lot of people over in Europe have done other trials, and in clinical practice, they're shortening the duration and, of um, dual antiplatelet therapy. And so if you have a low-risk patient with a low-risk lesion and excellent uh, second or third generation drug eluting stent, it might be safe to allow them to stop their therapy earlier to allow them to have a, an elective surgery done, for example. And in, uh, in the optimized trial, it, it focused on one particular stent. Do you think this is generalizable to other stents? Well, we're now thinking that uh, with these newer generation stents, they're all somewhat similar. In the past, we had the first generation stents, they had very high risk of stent thrombosis, and the taxa stent in particular was uh, po problematic. Now we have polymers that are actually therapeutic rather than harmful, and uh, the thin struts allow the uh, stents to heal more readily, and there's less stent thrombosis. So it does appear that the stent thrombosis rates are pretty equivalent between the current generation stents. But the one thing that I could point out is that there's a lot of physicians that are used to practicing back in the era when we had only Taxis and Cypher, and they think that patients need to be on uh, dual antiplatelet therapy for the rest of their lives. I think we need to readjust that thinking. In my opinion, it's a full year until um, the larger trials come out, but I've uh, really abandoned this uh, lifetime use of dual antiplatelet therapy.